सो हेलो स्टूडेंट नाउ वी आर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द थिंग्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द गार्बेज सो वॉट इज गार्बेज गार्बेज मीन्स वॉट दैट मेमरी ब्लॉक दैट वैल्यू विच डजेंट हैव एनी रेफरेंस इन फ्यूचर सो कंपाइलर एंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम डजन वॉट दैट कोड इन फ्यूचर so here what we are going to do we are going to remove that block from the remove that value from that memory or uh, we have to remove that memory free because in future we require and uh, that code which is to be that block which is to be used by the another program for their reference now in last lecture we are already discussed the things related to the garbage collection so how the garbage which is to be collected and also we discuss the things which are related to the reachability okay also we discuss the things uh, that are uh, that is reference counting garbage collector so how they how that particular block which is to be reference which is to be maintained now trace here we are going to discuss trace based collection instead of collecting garbage as it's created okay what is this instead of collecting garbage as it is created trace based collector run periodically to find unreachable object and reclaim their space what is the meaning is yes, very very important definition that is instead of collecting garbage as it created okay so in the tradition what we are going to do we are going to uh, Uh, what we uh, what operating system and uh, compiler do over there collect the garbages and free up the memory but instead of doing this we have to run the periodically that garbage collector garbage collection program so in future we doesn't require to whether the garbage is created or not so we have to run that Uh, code periodically to find the unreachable object and reclaim the free memory space so typically we run the trace based collector whenever the free space is exhausted or its amount drop to below some threshold so some whenever that particular block whenever uh, free memory which is not available at that time we have to execute trace based collection to free up the free up the memory space or reclaim the free space so this is the network object that is x and y uh, which is have reference to a b c then a has a reference to a d e h g h and c okay but whenever uh, in reference we doesn't have in in future we doesn't have any reference to x and y at that time this all the free all the allocated memory by the a a to i which is to be deallocated so these are the things which are related to the trace based collection so what we are going to do over here so instead of instead of collecting the garbage instead of collecting the garbage it is wastage of time so whenever particular threshold we have to maintain the that particular threshold of that memory if whenever that value is below that particular uh, threshold value at that time we have to uh, we have to execute periodically to trace based collection so thus in this way we easily get the free uh, or uh, free up memory or what we can say the garbage uh, uh, block and we easily free up the memory okay so these are the thing which are related to the trace based collection in next lecture we are going to discuss uh, important topic that is mark and sweep algorithm okay thank you